Hi people, in this video I would like to show you a few tricks how to make your PC silent. My PC is nothing special and I don't have any very expensive equipment to make my PC silent. This is how of course silent is when it's turn it off. Now I would turn power on. Now you can hear it's quite silent. This is from behind and you can see this is from behind and you can hear how silent it is. To get your PC to be vibration free and noise free, very silent, you must know where vibration and noise coming from. First thing, vibration in most time coming from hard drive. My recommendation to you is to replace hard drive with SSD drive or with smaller 2.5 inch hard drive from some laptop. Second thing to do with your PC case is to replace if you have hard plastic stands with some gum, soft gum stickers. They are very cheap and will set your PC case free from any kind of vibration. The main noise from your PC came from coolers. You have coolers in the power unit for PC case if you have one. You have CPU cooler and cooler for video card. I have replaced this cooler system for my video card with some passive one, not recommended to do if you play video games. And I will show you how to uh, make your PC to be silent like this. Like you see, I have three coolers, CPU for the case and for the power unit and computer is still very silent. How can you make your coolers to be silent? Uh, first, you can buy this kind of controller. This is uh, from Zalman multi-fan speed controller this is very quality controller but this video is about to show you how to make your PC to be silent with little or almost no investment in money uh, second thing about this controller you must know that many of them are very expensive and not too reliable I have one that have stopped working and my PC was overheating. They are expensive and not too reliable. So, how to make your coolers to work silent and quiet and all your PC to be very silent, noise free. Even if you manage CPU fan to work on slow speed with your BIOS settings or with some kind of controller you will still still have problems with fan or cooler who is in your power supply. You can replace your power supply with some expensive silent power supply but this is not the goal in this video. I will show you how to replace your fan or cooler in your power supply. Ok, this is one old broken power supply. When you open any power supply looks look like this. When you open power supply 
you will find find found like this or something like in here go power supply in any case unscrew the fan and replace with some new cooler but not any kind of cooler before that even if you unscrew this fan still will be touched with these wires from the power supply this is for power for this cooler simply cut with anything you got simply just cut these wires and release the, the fan when you replace the fan very important thing very important thing when you change cooler in your power supply is to have standard connectors like this or if it's smaller you can use and these type of connectors too why this is important uh, because when you cut the wires from the power supply you even if you replace the cooler you will still still do not, do not have power for cooler in your power supply in my case this kind of cooler is replaced in this power supply and these wires are put through the cables you just put cable from your fan new fan through this hole now when you replace the fan on your power supply and you have managed your cable power cable to be here now we can make your pc now we can make our pc to be very silent very important thing is to know that almost any component in your power supply working on 12 volts and this is voltage you have on your wires now when you know the voltage of your power supply this is the trick one my friend showed me Sala uh, she showed me how to make this sim simple connector this is a cheap one you can buy anywhere you like in the some PC stores but the main difference in this connector I will show you the factory on the factory output you have 12 volts okay you have yellow two blacks and one red okay this connector will make from this 12 volts on the end of the disc co connector to have 5 volts how? simply by changing the wires on this connector you, from here you go yellow here should be yellow and here should be red you have you see the wires are change it from here to here just two of them not all of them blacks are stay in the same place remember yellow go to red and red from here go to be to yellow and to in output you will have 5 volts to avoid any confusion I will record the standard factory connector and this is my handmade order of wire this is 5 volt 
output connector. You see the difference? Yellow, black, black, red. And here red, black, black, yellow. Before I demonstrate to you how this work, warning, do not connect any of components to 5 volt output. It will be stop working or can be broken. Okay. Now we will see how these my coolers work on standard 12 volt voltage. You hear this how my PC should work if I do not use this connector. Now I will use my connector. Remember only fans can be connected on 5 volts. This is why important to have your wire from cooler from power supply out of the box to can connect to this adapter and your fan can work too in the power supply on the 5 volt and to be silent like this. Okay. Now I will demonstrate demonstrate to you. Okay. 5 volt output yellow red red to yellow okay now listen very very different story again very 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 silent I have shown you how to make 5 volt connector output and if you want your fans to work a little bit faster this is 9 volt connector this is how you will make this one this is standard connection from power supply where is yellow you will go with red and where is red you will go with black and on the end you will have 9 volt and this my CPU fan is rotate a little bit faster than fan in my power supply fan on my power supply run on 5 volt that's all people hope you like it this is the cheapest way to make your PC to be silent.